Hey you guys, welcome back to my module. Today we're going to be doing a module review for the month of December. We're going to take a look at some new rolling stock and a new module plan. Let's go ahead and start looking at some stuff. So first of all, we're going to start off by looking at some of the new additions to my module. This little siding here, add it just for decorations. It's not wired or anything, but it's just there to make the module stand out some more. Some details I decided decided to put into it. I decided to add some uh, brush to make it look just to show that it's like old. It's been used. It hasn't been used in a while. We got some um, rails here. Make it look um, like it's a siding. Just put junk all over it. And we got some ballasting here, and right over here we got the um, buffers so they don't keep going also adds to the decoration and um, yeah basically what I used for this was I just used some code 100 track I had left over um, Fremo standards for our, our club is code 83 track only so this track here was unused and I decided just to add it for the module and it looks pretty good hey guys so this is the um, rolling stock I did acquire it is a BNSF coal car that they usually um, carry up mountain ranges, up and down hills, the slow hundred car coal trains are great. Now this mo this particular model comes from Atlas Model Railroad Company. It's from the Train Man series and just looking at it, the detail in this thing is absolutely incredible. You can see it has coating it has the little um, information about the train car. The coal load is amazing. And it's, uh, like I said, BNSF in Santa Fe. And it runs pretty smoothly, too. Now, underneath, we have just the regular metal wheels. Here's just some metal wheels, BNSF. And rotary couple end. Here's just a view of the side here, and then the other side. And then from this side. So as you see, it's a very detailed um, rolling stock. It's going to be great when I'm able to run these boys up at the next uh, fun run. So, what I also got was a couple new cars and we'll go take a look at those now. So here are the two new um, cars I acquired. They're both police vehicles. Um, this one is in the r regular patrol car features and it looks, looks like a basic patrol car you'd find on the roads. This guy here looks like one you'd find like back in the past a bit and as you see they're both very detailed both are made by the same company and both have the same acquirement in the uh, packaging so you just go in like that and then there's a clip on the bottom you just turn it and uh, yeah these were both uh, model power um, cars here and uh, these are gonna look great on I start my new module speaking of that let's go take a look at some modules Okay guys, so we're at the computer now. This is what I'm moduling. It is a cross-section in Plant City, Florida used by CSX and Amtrak. Here's a more here's the uh, layout plan. As you see, we've got the single straight track, a turn off onto the double main track, and this would be great at Big Valley. Here's how we'd store it. Just a coffin storage and then module cases and just tuck them in like that. And here's a more advanced one. We just use the regular 24 by 0 legs and all that. Thank you guys for watching this video. And we'll see you guys next time.